last but not least, I told you we were going to analyze halogenation and the halogenation reactions. Essentially, it's done by adding halogen elements from the group 7 on your table, chlorine, bromide, iodine, chlorine, as well. Uh, the typical catalyst you're going to use are this one. Chlorine, copper chloride, uh, silver chloride, palladium. This one here is very important, and carbon tetrachloride. Good. So you have this double bond. You have X. Let's let's call allergen X. So you, this could be chlorine chlorine bond, or it could be the what is, what's the other one? Bromide bromide bond, or iodine iodine fluorine fluorine etc. And what they do is essentially they go here, break this bond, and attach to each carbon here. Okay. <laughs> And you can see it here, a thing. You don't see maybe the double bond, but there's a double bond. They go here, attack with the help of tetrachloride, and they form this one here, which is one to dichloroethane. Also, here, guys, in the presence of uh, hydrogen chloride, you have it here. Okay. And you're going to essentially just break this double bond here and what else they can see well essentially just that you're going to break that double bond and you're going to attach the chloride here and we have all this one actually is very important one the organometallic here actually this is not organometallic this is aluminum bromide and it's going to add to take out this hydrogen gas and you're going to halogenate that benzene Essentially, the what we've seen all together is you have one uh, alkane or alkyl group, you have X, which is our uh, halogen, you use the catalyst and you're going to get the catalyst and probably the acid of that as well. This is a very common uh, catalyst one and also this barium, the iron bromide here. And that's essentially everything on halogenation. I just wanted to show you that it's possible and actually it's very common in refineries. And I think we're done. Let me show you a small summary on the next. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.